Hi, I'm Dr. From Matthews. I'm going to show you how to get a minimum and a maximum from a list of values in Excel. All right, so what we have here is a list of weights in column A. So this is weights of individuals. All right, so um, this is something that uh, you can possibly do to look for outliers, which is what we're going to be showing here today. So let's do the minimum first. So I have some labels here for minimum weight and maximum weight. So underneath the minimum weight, I'm going to type in equals, and then I'm going to start typing minimum. So M I N, and you can see right there, the first thing that pops up is this min returns the smallest number in a set of values all right so that's what we want so i'm going to go ahead and double click on that and it's going to put a parenthesis there all right so what it wants us to do is to highlight the values we want to sort through all right so we can simply click and highlight all these values that, that are in the list or because they're all in one column and there's nothing else in that column i can just click the a and it's going to highlight the entire column looking for everything within that column all right, so, but let's do it the, the other way, um, just in case, so you see what it's like. Um, I'm gonna highlight all these, and then I can either hit enter, and it's gonna assume that I want an end parenthesis, or I can hit the end parenthesis, and then hit enter, and there it's gonna give us our value. So we can see there, there's a 12.4 value in there that's clearly not a true weight. So these are weights in pounds. All right, so 12.4 is way too low for an adult. All right, so if we look through this list, here is our 12.4. Um, so if I just go ahead and hit the delete button, you're gonna see that minimum weight um, that we found up here from this list is going to change to the new minimum weight. Um, now it's 101 pounds, which is much more reasonable, more likely to be an accurate value. All right, so we can do the same thing for maximum weight. So we're gonna go under the maximum weight uh, heading here, type in equals to start a function, and start typing maximum. So M-A-X, and there it is. So MAX returns the largest value from a set of values. So just like the MIN returned the smallest, MAX is gonna return the largest. So I'm gonna double click that. And do the same thing, you can either highlight them all um, like we did for minimum, or what I'll do this time is just go ahead and click the column um, because again, everything in that column is something I'm searching through, so I'm not, um, I don't have random values at the bottom like averages and things calculated. Um, so we can highlight the whole column. All right, so then I'm just gonna go ahead and enter. It's going to assume I wanted the end parenthesis and put it in for me. So if we go back up, you can see here it is the end parenthesis. Um, and the value it came up with was 1,170 pounds. All right, so um, in most situations, that is also going to be an erroneous number, probably some sort of typo. So let's go ahead and look for, for that down the list. So if we just scan down this list, right here there's the 1170 value so if i hit delete for that you're going to see this maximum value change to the new maximum value of 320 so that's a, again a much more reasonable value so this is uh, how to do a minimum and maximum of a list of values uh, which again is very very handy uh, doing research looking for um, sort of typos and things that were they weren't entered properly um, or just looking for people with the extreme values that might throw your data off so if you have any comments or questions please put those in the comments section below um, otherwise uh, come back and watch another video thanks